What's up guys, welcome to the video. I had a comment on one of my recent YouTube videos um, from a guy who was just, he was kind of confused about what my philosophies are, what I believe about nutrition. Uh, I don't think he watched too many videos, but I, I, I think it's a good opportunity. Sorry, it's a little dark, there's some lights up here. It's a good opportunity to talk about this um, because I haven't really made one video for this. And, and his point was, I hear you talk about macros a lot, and he associates macros and macro ratios um, with only caring about macronutrients and processed foods being okay and kind of the whole stereotypical IIFYM means you can get jacked on protein powder and Pop-Tarts um, and, and whether or not that's healthy. And no, of course that's not healthy. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to do a, a real quick overview of my core nutrition, fitness philosophies, what I believe. So... I think that what, what matters most is, are like four to seven things. Energy balance, getting adequate protein, doing a training program that you somewhat enjoy or a style of training you somewhat enjoy. Um, ideally, some type of resistance training. I should just hang on here. I like walking though. Ideally, resistance training because being stronger and having more lean mass is going to help your longevity. Um, getting adequate fruits and vegetables, getting adequate water, and getting adequate sleep or rest and recovery. Um, like, that's it. Beyond that, like, the, the specifics of you have to go high carb or you have to have lots of saturated fat to keep your testosterone levels high or you can't eat gluten or you can only eat clean. Like, I'm not buying into any of that stuff. I don't think it's sustainable. And I don't think it's necessary for the type of progress people want to make. Um, that, that's the same thing with like optimal health, right? If we wanted to be optimally healthy, clean eating makes sense. Cutting out processed foods completely makes sense. But guess what? This is life. I don't want to give someone a plan that they're not going to be able to stick to to achieve 100% progress when I could give them a plan that they can stick to that will get them 99% of the way there. You get what I'm saying? Um, so those are my, those are my like core, core philosophies. The post mentioned ratios and, uh, I'm actually not a fan of ratios at all. I don't think 40, 30, 30, 40, 20, like it just doesn't make any sense because when you adjust from uh, a deficit to maintenance to a surplus, or when you go from a deficit to an even bigger deficit, sticking to that ratio just doesn't make sense, right? Like reducing each macro equally in proportion doesn't make any sense. I, like, I'm not going to deep dive on that right now. We're going to keep it high-level nutrition stuff, but I'm not a fan of ratios. Um, guys, like, I care about the shit that matters for accomplishing your goals and living better and longer lives. And that means doing sustainable stuff. Um, and, and like, it's so, it's so popular to hate on calories, right? It's so popular to armchair quarterback and hate on calories and be a contrarian. Guess what? Energy balance is what matters most for how much body fat you have outside of like maybe activity, depending on how much activity you're doing. So that could be it. But energy balance is what matters most. Having adequate protein so you can retain lean mass in a deficit or build lean body mass because newsflash, how much, not, I don't know why I said newsflash, that was kind of dumb, but there's a study that shows that what correlates most with longevity with when you're going to die is how much lean tissue an individual has in their lower body. So leg strength and total lean mass in the lower body, which is crazy. And that strength training, getting adequate protein, um, maybe eating some processed foods because they fucking taste good, right? And you can work them into a healthy diet and still make progress over the long term and be healthy. Um, I don't want to miss anything. Look how big that ship is. That's just an enormous ship. Um, really want to one take this too. Yeah, I, I think energy balance matters. I think getting adequate protein matters. I think eating micronutrient, micronutrient dense and fiber dense vegetables and fruit matters. I think being hydrated matters. I think moving around matters. I think sleeping and recovering matters. I think resistance training matters. And I think doing an amount and type of training that you can actually stick to and choosing foods that like are balanced in the sense of 
80% healthy, 20% unhealthy, as long as your numbers are on point, so that you can stick to that diet. So you're not on day four of the diet that you just got on that you want to be on for the rest of your life, right? And you go out and there isn't a healthy option and so you have peanuts and bar food and whatever other shitty fried stuff and then you're off it and you failed because it wasn't clean and you fall off and then it's another few months until you start up another diet. If you're doing something more balanced like this, like tracking your macronutrients and trying to stay mostly on point, that night is nothing. That night is like, maybe it fit into your intake, maybe you're 300 calories over for the day, do better tomorrow. That's what I believe in. Daily uploads, baby. Appreciate you guys watching. Hit the like button if you liked any of this. See you tomorrow.